Well, we had another really good day on silver. Um, we were up to uh, just past 1350. It broke through the 200-day moving average on uh, above average volume, so really a lot of energy coming into the silver market right now. It really looks good. I still expect it to pull back uh, at some point to the 20-day, which is right now around 1250. Uh, my stop loss is still 1275 um, until uh, it does something else. But uh, this uh, stimulus package that just passed um, it was 1,500 pages long, and I guess they only took a few hours to to read through it and pass it. So um, they're pretty much just blatantly telling us that they're just gonna they're just gonna keep throwing money at this thing until it fails. So uh, I've never been more convinced that inflation is on the way, and you need to load up on something that goes up with inflation, uh, just not real estate. Um, yeah, the picture's becoming much more clear to me today, um, much more dire, I think, because I realized that we've borrowed so much time from other countries and, and ourselves that uh, we don't have enough times left in our lifetime or maybe our children's lifetime to ever pay this time back. Because really, when, you, when, you, when you're borrowing money, you're borrowing time, because time and money are the same thing. Uh, when you sell, you sell your time at a job, you, you're transferring that time uh, into this. Can you see that? So this now represents your time. You've brought your time, you've sold your time, but this still represents time bringing it into the present. And now you've got to take this time that you have on your hand. This represents your time, and you've got to put it to work to make more time for you. You can make enough time, you can be truly wealthy and pay for the rest of your life. That's what wealth is. It's not a bunch of money in the bank necessarily. Um, and what we've done is uh, we've borrowed so much time from other countries and ourselves. Uh, it's blatant fraud. We're never going to pay it back. And I'm, so, I'm amazed that these idiot countries are still borrowing from us. The stimulus package that just passed, we got money from China, we got money from Japan, we got money from uh, the Middle East, the Arab countries. Um, I don't know what's going on, but they can't possibly be that stupid. So, but hey, you hold silver, you like to see this kind of thing. But 1,500 pages, there's no way to review that fully. And you know a lot of those pages are just wasting that money. Um, there's no way they're going to stimulate the economy. Um, they made credit so easy. If that was going to work, then why aren't we living on the moon right now? You know, obviously it doesn't work. So how is more money going to stimulate anything ever? Uh, we nothing's going to change until we change the system. They might slow it down. They might delay it for a while. But we've been living on borrowed time for a long time, probably our whole lives, if you're my age. Uh, ever since we got taken off the gold standard, that was the beginning of the end, and this is the process. If you go back in time from the 71, 72, we were off the gold standard till now, you'll see the math and the process um, of what happens when you, uh, you borrow too much of your future, and now uh, you'd spend the rest of your life just paying your bills, uh, never getting ahead, and meanwhile, inflation is going to eat you alive. So you have no choice but to sell time, Transfer your time into this, and then transfer this into silver. Then that silver is going to represent that much time that you sold, and that time is going to multiply. That's how you get wealthy. So you got to start thinking a little different. I know I've repeated this in a couple of my videos, but I'm trying to make it, it's becoming more clear to me, and I want to try to make it more clear to you how you think about time and money. People think that a bunch of money is uh, their salvation, but it, uh, it depends on how much, of course. But uh, you have to take that money and make more of it into the future. Uh, you have to do that for, from now until forever. If you're not attached to inflation, uh, you're going to lose. I don't care how much money you make in stocks. It's all paper, and it's all priced in U.S. dollars. So if you look at a chart from 2000 until now, gold has killed the Dow. And um, it's obvious. So start thinking different. You don't have to be a slave. And I think uh, knowledge is our best weapon against these jackasses that think they could just throw our futures away like that. So um, hope you learned something. Oh, I wanted to mention a couple other things. I'm keeping my eye on gasoline because they're slowing down uh, refining. Just because there's a lot of oil doesn't mean they have to make it, turn it into gasoline. 
So the UGA was down today, um, which is a good buy point. I think I think uh, coming into the driving season that might be a good watching that. And the TBT, the ultra short treasury, is up a dollar seventy-five today. So uh, that's a, definitely a buy signal. It, it looks like it's going to start trending upward. And one of these days, this market's going to take off because when the treasury bond, uh, when the bond market fails, this will this will take off. So I'm watching that. I think there was a fourth thing I was looking. Obviously, silver is the third. I know there was a fourth. Uh, I was watching oil, but really gasoline will take off. Out gasoline will outperform oil if oil rises, so I'd rather buy uh, gas. Uh, I think there was a fourth thing. What the hell was it? I added one today, and I can't remember what it is. Um, oh, commercial real estate should be the next shoe to drop. Uh, IYR is commercial real estate. You'd have to short that. If you want to buy something that's inverse, which means if it goes up, if real estate comes down, it goes up, you want the SRS, which is uh, short real estate. Uh, I think it's real estate in general, not just uh, commercial. But all these businesses going out of business, if you notice driving around your town, there's lots of vacant lots, lots of vacant uh, businesses, and no one's paying rent. So commercial real estate will be the next, the next thing to fall. Um, so if you can short something, short the IYR, buy puts on it because uh, it should be failing. I keep watching JP Morgan too because of their big short position on silver. May they go to 10 cents. Sons of bitches. Oops. Sorry. Don't don't report me. Don't flag my video. Um, they're weakening again. Looks like they're, they've been trending downward for a while so I should have shorted them today. But Anyway, uh, if you don't have any silver, get some silver. That's all for now.